Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Stream and how you can potentially use it to record video feedback for your students. So to access Microsoft Stream, if you click on the nine box waffle in the top left corner, you'll see Stream is one of the options available to you. And then when we access Stream, if you go to the Create drop-down, you'll find that the, one, the last option is Record Screen or Video. So if you click on that, you'll get this pop-up appear. If it's the first time you've used the screen recording feature within your browser, it will ask you to agree permission for it to be able to access your webcam and your camera. So you've got various choices you can choose from the drop down, screen and camera, which will give you your little thumbnail image in the bottom corner, screen only or camera only. So I'm just going to go with screen only and press record. It then is going to ask me what I want to record, whether it's my entire screen, a window, or a particular tab within my browser, which in this case is Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to choose uh, the, the tab with my presentation where I want to give feedback. If I click share, it starts me recording immediately. And I can click present on the video and then I can start to go through the video and provide the student with feedback. If you use this feature, you can annotate your presentation as you go through. So just to show you that again, there's a pop-up feature there and you've got various highlighters and pens that you can choose. And you can just go through, as you're talking through the student, you can provide feedback. So you want to reference maybe a spelling error or some text, you could highlight that. You can navigate through the presentation, providing your feedback as you go. Again, circling anything you want to reference as you talk through and provide the student with your feedback. Going through each time, just circling or underlining a particular thing that you want to reference when you're talking and providing the feedback to the student. So you could keep going through all of your present, the whole presentation, um, just as I say, selecting or highlighting any aspects that you want. As, as we keep going through the presentation, it may be in addition to, to, to selecting, you may want to use the highlighter feature. And again, you could highlight particular elements that you're talking about as you provide your feedback to students. So we, we go through, we keep doing that. We go through our presentation, providing the feedback and highlighting or pointing to any underlying, any aspects that we want to refer to in our comments. Now, when we finished, our recording. If we click on the stop uh, instruction at the top and then we'll see that our video has stopped recording and we have a preview of our video appearing there. So we can alter the start and end time if we want. So we can clip some off the start or some off the end to trim our video. If we're not happy with it, having listened to the preview, we can record it again if we are happy, we can click Upload to Stream. We can add in the title in a moment. There we go. Add in the title. We could refer to uh, feedback on unit, whatever it may be. We can then choose who has access to that video. At this point, if you need to download the video, you could save the video file there. So if you don't use Stream with your students in your organization, you maybe have a different student facing video sharing service, you could save the video and upload it to that. Or you could just download it and share it in a different way. But I'm gonna publish it to Stream. So to choose the student's details, I'd click Update Video Details and I could provide, I could enter the student's details in there and it would mean it's just visible to them. If there were certain points of the video, at this point, once I've got the video uploaded, I could come back and edit these details, adding in timestamps. So let's just put in a couple of random timestamps by just putting in, uh, and that could be comment one, 
and I could do the same again. I'm just making up the timestamps, but you could watch it back, make a note of the specific bits you want to draw the student's attention to. I'll put in another one. Ooh. And you, I'm just putting comment one, two, three or so on, but you could put in uh, a bit more of a description if you wanted to. And then you've got a choice. You can either hit a publish at that point, or you can go back to the original window and hit publish there. So we hit publish and then click go to video. It starts me recording immediately. I'm just gonna turn the volume down on that. So there's my video there. And you can see if I click here and go update video details. Now because I didn't publish on that original window, it hasn't kept my timestamps, but I can add them back in. So if I click zero, zero, nine, and then comment one and do the same, maybe zero, 35, comp, Two, and then hit apply. You'll see it starts me recording immediately. Mute that. You can see my comments are there. When I click on the timestamp, it jumps to that specific part of the video. But now that the transcript has appeared, the students can just look through the transcript and click on the specific part of the transcript, and the video will automatically jump. So, really useful for accessibility, that there's a transcript available, but also it just means that you can jump to specific elements. And if you wanted the students to respond to your feedback, then you could add a form at a specific point for them to respond to your feedback. So really useful feature, either adding comments with timestamps in the bottom, which allow the students to jump to specific points of the video, or just enabling them to use the transcript as you go. So there, uh, a quick video on how to use Microsoft Stream to provide video feedback. If you were doing feedback for a Word document, then you could just highlight, use the highlighter to highlight the paragraph or the sentence that you're referring to in your feedback. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.